Welcome back to Zach Collect Stuff. Went to a card show this past weekend up in Michigan City. Show was kind of a bust. Um, I picked up a couple blasters at 15 bucks a piece that Hudson and I are going to make a video with later on. Um, but for the most part, really didn't find too many cards that were of good value. There was a ton of cool stuff there, but I feel like, I don't know if it's the holidays are around the corner or what it is, but everything seemed to be at high comps or at the top of what they should be selling for. So um, I hit the dollar boxes, the $2 boxes, the value boxes. Um, this first stack here is Hudson stuff that he picked up, stuff that he liked. Uh, cool Pokemon car, the Zerora. Very cool looking Pokemon card there. And then a bunch of value stuff for him. We got a Riley Green, Justin Henry Malloy, a couple Tigers, of course. He got a cool Ellie De La Cruz Prospects card. And an Acuna rookie. I feel like now is the time to buy this guy. If you're going to be in on anybody, I feel like Acuna probably has the greatest growth potential just because his values are kind of down right now and because of what his capabilities are when he's on the court or on the field. Um, Hudson said he wanted to pick up a bunch of Steph Curry stuff, and we found these in the value boxes. I think these were each either $1 or $2 a piece. And so uh, some cool Steph Curry stuff. <clears throat> this one on the Team USA, Topps Chrome. But this is some cool Steph Curry inserts. Dynamo, that's a really neat one. And then he picked up this cool Caitlin Clark parallel as well. Top pick in the draft. That was the stack that Hudson picked up for himself. And he also picked up a bunch of these in a lot with the other things that I think were pretty much just tossed in as far as value is concerned. The $1 cards that I found got Maglio Ordonez in a purple refractor. A cool Clayton Kershaw color match numbered to, uh, numbered to 60. This one was not in the $1. I think this was in like $2. Maybe. Mike Trout and Aaron Judge of the Iconic inserts a cool yamamoto cracked ice parallel a nice nolan shanwell gold rookie uh babe ruth tops silver pack insert and a cool albert puholtz rainbow foil picked up a few basketball cards for my slowly growing 90s basketball insert personal collection got a cool tops chrome destiny grant hill card that one's in pretty good shape. Got a really cool top Tops Stadium Club Dunkus Colossus of Tim Duncan. Pretty cool looking card there. I like that insert a lot. And then I picked up these two for my buddy Will, who collects uh, 90s basketball, specifically Reggie Miller and John Stockton stuff and other 90s basketball stuff. But these were pretty neat. Picked them up for two bucks a piece. Some other value box cards here. Got a cool MJ Melendez yellow Bauman Chrome number to 75. Don't even know why I picked that one up, but he seems to be a decent player. Got a nice gold border, Albert Pujols. Love that card. Cool pose. A nice Bauman Chrome Manny Machado rookie. Crystal Ball of Vlad Guerrero Jr. A couple Otani cards. This one's from Rookie Year. Japan's finest, Otani and Ichiro. Love that card. Ichiro is one of my all-time favorites. So the fact that those two are on a card, pretty neat. But I tossed it into a lot of other stuff. And then uh, this Topps Fire die cut on fire. It's the gold minted, but it's from 2022. Tossed that one into the lot as well. So neat little lot of cards there. Got a few Ken Griffey Jr. cards. Topps Finest Headliners. This is a great one here, a Soaring Star from Fleer, 1996. I love the foil background on that one. A little bit of rough edges there, but definitely a cool insert. We've talked about it on this channel before, but I love the black gold inserts from the early 90s. But that one I just had to have. Super cool looking card. We've got the gold foil on the name and the logo on the back as well. And then probably my favorite card of the day was this Ken Griffey Jr. Future Fame. Yes, it has some issues at the top there. It's whiting around the edges, but die cuts from the 90s are awesome looking, number one, but also very tough for condition. Picked that one up. I got most of those from my buddy Bob, who I set up at shows with before, and uh, 
he gave me a pretty good deal on that stack. So, got a few things for the PC, the Jeter and Miguel Cabrera PC. Just a Jeter insert I did not have yet. This one is from Archives, maybe? I think it's from Topps Archives, Hit Stars. Got the 2018 Miguel Cabrera Gold, numbered out of 2018. And a Donross Optic Red Prism, numbered to 99. Not sure why I picked this one up, but the Alex Morgan card was pretty cool. It's numbered to 199. Thought that was pretty awesome. I picked it up for two bucks, but she's one of the better names in women's soccer. But I feel like I always have people looking for WNBA cards or off um, the main sport stuff, and I feel like that's a good name. I like to diversify what I have available at the shows. The last couple cards I picked up, this was in the two dollar box that I was rifling through, so I had to pick that up. Matt Manning, Absolute Ink. 17 out of 25 and that one's from 2021 panini absolute thought that was pretty awesome as a detroit tigers fan i had to pick that one up for only for two bucks yes please and then the last one maybe the coolest card maybe not my favorite but definitely one of the coolest ones this adrian beltre absolute baseball triple patch card the patches in this card are super chunky and awesome. Very unique card, number two of 10. I got this for $10, but I put it with a couple other cards and I know he took a couple bucks off. So I'm pretty sure I did not pay the full $10 for this, but still, even at 10 bucks, a Hall of Famer or future Hall of Famer, triple patch card, number to 10, you can't beat that. Super cool card. That'll go right into the PC. You're not going to find too many cards going forward that have patches like that. And on top of that, they are game-used material. So that's what I picked up at the show. It was kind of a slow one. I was able to find a few good deals and talk to some people that I've seen at shows before and, and make some more connections that way. Hudson found a bunch of stuff that he liked, and I feel like it's just growing that connection in the collecting industry for him and me together. So that's, that's the real benefit to going to that show together. As always, thanks for watching Zach Collect Stuff. If you ever have any questions about collecting, please feel free to leave them in the comment section down below. Let me know which card that I picked up was your favorite one. I think I'm going to go with the Griffey Future Fame is my favorite card that I picked up at this show. Super cool looking die cut. The foil background just reacts really well to the light. Love it. Adrian Belter is a close second. Let me know what you think. As always, keep collecting, have fun, and I'll talk to you soon.